stand every single night to ask me how my day was at school. If you guys surrender to a purpose that's bigger than you, purpose will overtake any pain, any challenge, any adversity you face in that classroom or on that football field. If my mother was able to do that, to fight, to walk down the long hallway to get to that dinner table, to ask me how my day was at school, then you guys can commit to each other to keep writing the story of this legacy. My mother, 11 days before my eighth birthday, she took the proverbial ball of her life and she passed it on to me to continue to write the story of her legacy. The greatest life lesson I've ever learned from anybody, I learned from my mother. It is not how long you live, it's how you choose to live your life. You want to continue the legacy of this storied football tradition, this storied school. It will come down to the daily decisions and choices you guys make as a family, as one heart, as a unit. Because if this program has the second highest winning percentage since 1894, that means there have been plenty of football players who have suited up before you, who took that proverbial ball. They had it before you. It's been passed from generation to generation. 31 conference championships, 12 national championships, four straight national championships. Gentlemen, that proverbial ball has now been passed on to you. The question becomes, what are you going to do with it? I've done enough research watching people sitting around trying to wait to make things happen. That's not you. 99% of people wait for greatness to go on sale. You guys go get it. Don't wait for it to go on sale. It isn't going to be easy. But if you want it bad enough, you'll take everything that lies inside you and you'll go get it and you'll do it again. But you got to believe in each other. you got to trust. Passion for the process, trust, and legacy. Now I'm going to leave you guys with one of my favorite scenes from a movie. Now because this is my first opportunity to meet Coach Clyde and to meet Coach Roll in person, and by the way, have you ever seen tape on that guy? <laughs> that man can roll, if you know what I mean. So once we talked, once Craig Dahl connected us, you talk about legacy. See, I had the opportunity to be with all of you because of one of your legends, because of Craig Dahl, because of a guy named Michael Shepard. Okay? Two men that played a significant role in my life, great relationships. That's how I got connected with Coach Roll, Coach Clyde. That's legacy, guys. That's how it all unfolds. Now, since this is my first time meeting these guys, I didn't want to play a video where one of the biggest F bombs is dropped in the history of movies. You guys probably wouldn't mind, I'm not going to do it anyway. Has anybody seen the movie Any Given Sunday? You guys like that movie? Anybody seen that? You like that? Now, I know I got my Bison shirt on today, right? I don't have my Al Pacino red shirt on from the movie. But since I'm not going to play, can I give you guys a second-rate impersonation of Al Pacino by me before his team goes out on that field to go win that championship, which for you is going to be number five? Can I have your permission to do a second-rate impersonation of Al Pacino? Now, after I do that, okay, you guys are up in the seats. I'd love to bring everybody down. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys at home. Okay, the way the seats are set up. But I'm going to break you guys down if that's okay as well. With a little battle cry that I teach the professional athletes that I work with as well as collegiate and high school athletes. Okay, the way that battle cry goes. If I text one of the guys that I work with in the NFL, if I text them max effort, they'll text me back pays off. One of the coaches I work with in collegiate athletics, if I text them max effort, they'll text back pays off. Any of the athletes, max effort pays off. So we're done when I break you down on me on max effort. You guys hit me with some fire with that pays off because I'm giving you everything that I got right till we hit this finish line, okay? Now let me do this second rate impersonation first. So Al Pacino gets down to his men. Gentlemen, football is like the game of life. 
It's about winning and it's about losing. It's about living and it's about dying. Sometimes you win an inch and sometimes you lose an inch. But it all comes down to inches. And in all great prize fights, it's the fighter who's willing to die for that inch that'll win. Now what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Everything you need is already here to go get number five. Keep writing the story. Keep writing the story. Why not you? And why not now? Max Edward!